What is up, guys? This is BC Gaming here. How y'all doing today? I'm doing pretty here today, playing some more Balsa Final Flight Simulator. Let me know a quick uh, how to and how to make a plane that can land and take off of water. Yes, it is possible. I have multiple crafts that can do this. I had some help a little bit uh, with some players online. They were we were all trying to figure it out. One guy was the first one to do it. it wasn't me. He figured it out with a jet he already had that he could do it, and he did it. And uh, I saw what. He, how what his design was and we figured it out the center of thrust needs to be behind and underneath the center of lift and the center of mass needs to be above or in the same area as the center of thrust or the area of thrust we'll, we'll get to that in the uh, building process we'll build a quick little plane but before we do that i'm gonna show you the planes that already work that worked probably i'm gonna show you the best one i have two uh let's open them real quick but I will go through the process and show you actually how to, how to build one that works. Here's the first one. This is the uh, first one I did. And these planes are on the workshop. I will put the links in the description below. By the way, guys, if, make sure if you liked the video, make sure you squish that like button. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Go ahead and subscribe if you already. Hit the notification bell for each video. just like this. Sorry, guys. My words are kind of muffled right now because my nose is still congested. I cannot talk right it is driving me insane i would have done so many more videos in the last couple weeks if it wasn't for the stupid nose anyways this plane as you can see the uh put some wheels on here just so i can land on land if i want to but the center of let's turn this on the center of thrust behind the center of mass behind and underneath the center of lift you can make any plane just about i'm pretty sure but this also prope propellers won't work. Uh, maybe a prop, maybe a push propeller might work in the back, uh, but not for forward thrust. Like if you put like propellers here or something, it has to be behind and underneath the center of lift. So we will do that real quick. We'll fly. I'll show you how easy it is, and we'll do a um, uh, at the end of the video. We'll land hopefully with a new plane. What we make? I'll show you where. You'll see exactly how great speed brakes are in this game. Becomes landing on water. Anyways, we're gonna get right here. I'm gonna get to the cockpit here. The joystick right here. So we're gonna go turn the engines on. We're gonna get flaps all the way. Let's go ahead this uh, other one here. Here we go. Flaps all the way up there. Channel A. Just the right flaps. Yes, yeah, right flaps. Yeah. And we're gonna thrust up, start off slow. We're gonna floor, floor it. Oh no, nope. there we go. We're up in the air. We're up. We're good. Don't even need it. <laughs> let's uh, let's pull that back. Here we go. Let's straighten out here. Put the flaps back down. We're good to go. We are in the air. Get straight back out here. Uh, here we go. But yeah, I mean, we could probably do a quick landing. Uh, let's see here. Let's lower the thrust downs. There, we actually switched to keyboard flight here because I'm still not that great. Uh, we're gonna hit the channel B all the way up here, slow this thing down. Let's y'all to the left a little bit, slow down a little bit more. And this is where, okay. Now, with the speed brakes, it controls the uh, I'm, out, I'm allowed to control the descent myself with the thrust, I don't have to worry about pitching down. I just gotta pitch up a little bit to keep my uh, nose up. So I'm not gonna be diving into the water. I'm gonna keep lowering that thrust a little bit at a time. I wanna get below 60 kmh before I hit this water. I would mean, hit it above 30 if I mean, below, when you hit below 30. Land here. Just slow down a little bit more. Well, slow down, slow down, slow down. There we go. We're in. We're in place landing. Uh, I don't think anything broke. Now we're good to go. And we can actually go ahead and we'll put these flaps back up again. We'll take the other flaps down. You notice with the new update, there are waves. Uh, yeah, the waves are actually help you take off. And we're up again. Well, oh, no. Pull back up. 
put the flaps back down. And we are I'm at keyboard flight here. The joystick is still a work in progress for me. All right, say so we're back in. So um, we're gonna head, we're gonna go back to workshop here. Hopefully, don't crash my game. We we'll hit new, and we're gonna do a quick little build on how on the uh, basics of building these things. Now, I've got another one. Let me show you that one real quick. More of a cargo style transport passenger kind of plane. It's the uh, here it is. Where the hell is? There it is. Watercraft transport. Basic, same basic concept using gas. Um, see the uh, center of all this behind it? This right here. Got little seats and stuff in it and everything. Anyways, so what kind of style we want to go with? Also have a jet that works in the water. I did not realize uh, this one I had already made and then when I saw the other guy's jet get out of the water, I tried mine and it worked. This is where I started making the other ones. This is the uh, my custom build VCR 16. Pretty much kind of like a wild little version of a raptor. Yeah, in a way. But, um, let's see. What kind do we want to do? All right, I decided to go with a simple style kind of jet. Let's see. Let's get this started here. Go with this cockpit there. I wish they make a round one that doesn't have the adjustable stuff. But we'll stick with that there. Extend this out. on it in the front that off I'm um, gonna we'll do a little let's do something we've done in a while do a little uh speedy up build montage All right, guys, I'm back with a little plane here, a little basic kind of jet. I uh, got the, um, as you can see, the center of uh, thrust is behind and underneath the center of lift and the center of mass. So it should take off fairly easy, as you probably saw in the testing in the montage. But let's go try this thing out. And put the seahorse. Uh, colors, maybe I should have like C and a quarter or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> don't ask why I did this color scheme. I said, why not? We got one other peak plane and it's not uh, suited for YouTube. All right. This thing actually takes off faster and better than my other uh, planes, surprisingly. Let's uh, go into this boat here. I'm going to turn the flaps up. Probably don't even need them, but we're done. And we're... Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't think we need the flaps, to be honest with you. Let's turn this flaps back down. Why? Yep, we're up. Don't even need flaps. Check that out. Don't even need them. Things that good. Damn, this thing turns on a dime. Check that out. Let's check the y'all. Wait, this is the y'all over here. Y'all's not bad. It could be better. Not bad, not bad. This thing is nice. I like it. Now let's try landing in the water, shall we? Let's uh hit channel B all the way up. That's the channel B all the way up. There we go. Up here. Slow this down a good bit. Now we control the sit 
without being worried about that we can kind of control the center ourselves. So lower the thrust a little bit here. Lower it a little bit more. Let's get down. As you can see, the altitude is dropping really slow, which is good for landing like this. And our speed is staying at 54 kmh. Remember, we want to be below 30 if possible. 35 max. I don't like how close we are to that ship. Let's turn to that a little bit. There we go. Let's, give it, let's get down here. Let's drop the... Uh, now, from here, we want to lower our altitude. All we just got to do is lower the speed. Keep lowering that speed. Pitch up a little bit to stay level. We'll lose the signal here, but we should be good to go. Pitch up again. Drop more uh, thrust. Pitch up some more. Drop thrust. I want to pitch up too much because then we'll lose. We'll stall out. So we'll, we're at 36 kmh now. Let's drop some more thrust. And we're in. Now all we got to do is we're going to do just thrust upwards. And we're going to get out of here. Nope. And that's going to happen. Okay. Come on now. What's wrong with my roll? I'm not sure what's wrong with rolling it now, but we keep rolling. Do we lose a part and not know it? Let's, let's slow down. Let's just get buoyant. Let's just get buoyant. Uh, can we flip over? Huh, that's interesting. That is a new one for me. So if we can get out of here and just we get thrust out of this. There we go. Can we not pitch forward? God damn it. What the hell is going on? Whoa, game just crashed on me, guys. One second. Alright guys, we're back. Back in the game. Uh, it crashed. We hit water too uh, any fast at all. It's just going to crash on you. But we'll try to give it a quick. We saw how easy it is to land it and take it off of water. We'll just try to replicate it from here. Okay. I'm gonna... This time I will fly completely from keyboard, not from joystick. I need a... That thing is... I, I, I gotta get that dialed in. I might do a video on how to do that actually. And how to actually at least get it set up for this game. We go ahead and uh, slow down. We're gonna add in. I've noticed recently when I go to add in flat channel B and channel A, it cuts my engines to 50% speed. I'm not sure why it's doing that. I did not set it up to this, but almost all my planes has been doing that with. I don't know why. So yeah. Yeah, y'all is only on my joystick right now for some reason. And there, now goes the freaking. My keyboard is fighting my um uh, my my uh joystick right now. The throttle on it. So bear with me here. I need to remember next time just unplug it. But we go ahead and try to land here real quick. Half percent thrust. Forty one. Up a little bit. Kind of drifted to the left here. We got a little much. Wave, there we go. Now we just be able to sit, uh, shift and get up in the air. Why are we, what's the deal with the twist? I don't understand the twist. I think I know what the problem is. I want to move the center of mass, or at least. I doesn't like that. Is it okay with it? I'm gonna lower the pitch a little bit. Okay. Save that. Fly. Let's try that real quick. Let me get it in the water and then we'll um, uh, see what happens. Okay, we're back in the water. Let's try this. 
Okay, this that helped. Okay, we balanced it back out with the uh, move of the engines uh, forward. It helps it not want to flip back as easy. Okay, that was the problem. Too much weight in the back made it want to pivot backwards. You want some pivot, so that that makes it help when you get out of the water. But you don't want to pivot it so much that it's gonna just straight up flip backwards every time. So uh, yeah, that's, you just gotta find that perfect little balance on uh, on that. And this here, I don't even need the flaps for this plane. This plane flies so great by itself. I don't even need to turn on uh, channel A or B. I can just land just like this. I'm dropping this down to 15% thrust. Drop it down to 3%. We're just going to bring it in just nice and smooth, just like that. And we're take back off again. Just like this. Hit that wave, and we're gone. Hopefully, come on, there we go. Yep, we got it. See, guys, that is that easy. But anyways, guys, if y'all like this video, make sure you squish that like button. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, I will put the link. Now, we'll put this in the workshop. Uh, the name of it will be the Seahorse. Uh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, y'all have an awesome day.